Hey guys, what's going on? It's Billy here from the best place to buy gold online. And uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, go ahead and check out my website, goldfinancial.de. Go ahead and register yourself for a free account. Uh, welcome back to uh, another episode of this uh, uh, series, The New Case for Gold. And um, I highly recommend you go ahead and check out his book. There's a link in the description below. So with that said, pitch over. Uh, let's crack on with some information here and um, provide you with a bit more value as to this new case for gold. So really, gold never went away. Um, it is generally believed that President Nixon closed the gold window on August 15th, 1971, and the US has been off the gold standard ever since. Since then, two generations of students have been rigorously brainwashed by policymakers and professors to believe that gold has no role in the international monetary system. The truth is, gold never went away. It never, ever, it has never, ever gone away. Uh, the power elites stopped talking about it and uh, publicly ignored it. Uh, that's where the real power is coming from them. But they held on to it. Um, so if I ask this question, if gold is so worthless, why does the US have over 8,000 tons? Uh, there's a big question mark at the end of that one uh, because uh, I think their figures are overly estimated. Uh, and oh, um, you know, wildly exaggerated. But if they do have, and it is true, and they do have 8,000 tons of it, you know, why do they still hold it? Why do Germany and the IMF keep approximately 3,000 tons each? Why is China acquiring, acquiring 3,000 tons through stealth? Um, or Russia acquiring over 100 tons a year? Why is there such a scramble for gold if it has no value, uh, has no role in the system? It's highly convenient for central bankers to convince people that money has nothing to do with gold because that empowers them to print all the money that they want. Everyone from Ben Bernanke to Alan Greenspan and others have disparaged gold saying it plays no part in the system. Uh, along with the power to control money comes the power to control behaviour and politics. Um, but gold is still the foundation, the real underpinning of the international monetary system lies in gold. Um, so there you have it guys, I hope you got value. If you did, feel free to like, comment and share and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.